Hi families, my name is Sarah Howard and I am the Assistant Principal for Kindergarten in 2021. I'm sure you're all very familiar with my face from the videos that we produced last year to get you ready to start kindergarten. This video is all about the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty stuff and things you'll need to know. I'll be presenting the first part of the video with all of the general whole kindergarten information. And then at the end, each of your individual class teachers will pop in a few slides with information specific to your class, things like library days and those sorts of things. So our kindergarten teachers in 2021, KR, and in KSC, Miss Kim Sullivan will be there at the beginning of the week on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And Mrs. Rachel Curran will be working with KSC on Thursday and Friday. We're really lucky here at Wilkins to have such wonderful staff and staff who are aspiring towards leadership positions. So I would like to welcome Mrs. Hafer as one of the a member of the leadership team in 2021 who will also be supporting our kindergarten students and our kindergarten teachers so other support staff who spend time with kindergarten this is just here to help you pop a face to the name when they do come home and start telling you all about the wonderful things they've done in the library mrs karen chorus is a very experienced teacher librarian and will be teaching our library program They'll see Mr. Kurt Olufsen for music each week. They'll also see Mr. Robert Smith, and his photo is further down that slide, for STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. He's very excited about getting some robotics out with our kindergarten children this year. All teachers are entitled to release from face-to-face -face time as well. And for some of the classes, this will be taught by Miss Phoebe Williams. Mr. Smith also teaches English as an additional language or dialect. So for our children who are learning English as their second language, they may chat to you about Mr. Smith. And I'm down the bottom there as our instructional leader K to two. So I'll be working in all of the classrooms, supporting our teachers to make sure that we are getting the best possible results from our students. All right, the nitty gritty stuff, the housekeeping. School starts at 9 a.m. And thank you everybody who has been bringing your children in through the Park Lane gate really sensibly. It's really important that we support the children to say goodbye and get going without too much of a fuss, which we really appreciate. You will now be picking your children up from either the Park Road coronation or coronation gates or through the valet pickup. And we'll be doing that from 3 p.m. each day. Please make sure that your te child's teacher knows where they will be picked up from. And if there is a change during the day, because we do know that that happens, please call the office so that they can pass that information on to the teacher and to your child. It is important that children are here by 9 a.m. every day. There's a teacher on duty from 8.30. So that means if you're ready to go, come on into school. That little bit of time in the morning is really great for catching up with friends and getting settled and organised so that by 9am they're ready to start their school day. In the event that you are running late, please come through the office as we'll need to sign the children in and mark the time that they arrive. And if you do need to pick your child up early, again, come through the office and they'll, we'll make sure that they come and meet you here. Where possible, we do ask that you book appointments outside of school hours. However, we do understand that sometimes when you're waiting for that specialist appointment, it has to happen during school time. Hopefully now everybody is on the central parent portal, which is the place where you can send us absent notes. Don't worry about them getting squashed in the bottom of the bag and forgotten. You can do that all through the central parent portal app. And if you haven't got that set up yet, please download the app and connect to Wilkins and then see the office for your unique code that matches you up to your child's profile. Kindergarten teachers also use Seesaw, which is an app that you can download 
for keeping in touch with information. And I do have a lot more information about Seesaw later on in this presentation. Notes and Money will also go through the Seesaw app. My apologies. Notes and Money will also go through the Central app. Any excursion notes or anything that needs your permission will be pushed out through Central and you can electronically sign that and send it straight back to the school. It is then attaches itself to your child's profile. Any excursions or events that require a payment can also be completed through the Central app electronically. We do also accept cash at the office if that's what you would prefer. Lunches throughout the day. I think this is the biggest um, question that we often get. So please make sure your child has a healthy lunch packed, a sandwich or a wrap. Lots of families like to send um, pasta. Dumplings are a great one um, throughout the day. We know that lots of you are choosing to use the bento lunch boxes, which is fantastic and really helps us minimise our waste in the school that we appreciate. We do ask that you send your, crunch and, your child's crunch and sip in a separate plastic container because they'll need to grab it first thing in the morning, pulling that lunchbox out and seeing all of the exciting things in there, especially the treat, can be a little bit overwhelming. So if the crunch and sip is in a separate container and maybe just in the front pocket of the bag, it's really easy to grab. Our canteen is open and operational and my personal experience is that their food is fantastic and I can highly recommend it. If you jump on the Flexi Schools app, you can set up a profile for your child, pop in any allergy details or anything like that. The canteen does have all of that information, but it's just an extra safety measure to pop it through on the Flexi Schools app as well. And you can order through there. The children are allowed to make cash purchases at the canteen and it's always very exciting on that first day that they have a little bit of money in their pocket. Kindergarten teachers will definitely make sure that they head over to the canteen and make that purchase safely and sensibly if they do have a special treat with some money to spend. Home reading will start in a few weeks once your children have a little bit of an understanding um, and a few, a few words under their belt. Our home readers will head start coming home. We understand that sometimes it's a bit tricky to organise home reading every night. So for that reason, we will be using a, an electronic program called Wooshka and you will receive a individual login for your child. Wooshka contains hundreds, possibly even thousands of different texts that your child can read. And the really amazing thing is that all of our classroom teachers set the level that your child is up to. We often find, particularly when it gets a bit busy changing the physical home readers, that someone might come home with a book that is far too easy for their skill level or possibly even a little bit tricky. Using the electronic platform means that your child is getting exactly the right level of text to read at home. It also means that you can have the luxury of organising home reading however it suits you. If, you. if it works for you to read every night, that's fantastic and you'll have the, the app there on, and on a device or on the computer to do it. At my house, reading every night just doesn't happen. So we like to sit together, we often cuddle up on a Saturday afternoon and we'll power through four or five home readers at that time. So using the app means that you have the luxury to organise it exactly how it works in your house. At the moment, unfortunately, we cannot have parent helpers on site. We are hoping that we would we can welcome you into our classrooms later in the year. But at the moment, please understand that due to government regulations, um, parent helpers will not be allowed on site currently. Birthdays are a big one and we do love celebrating birthdays in kindergarten. If you could please let us know 
prior to the day if you intend to bring a treat for your child to share and celebrate their birthday with their friends. A quick message to the teacher in the morning if you see them or given that we are dropping off at the gate through Seesaw is fantastic. Individual servings are really easy to distribute. Cupcakes and donuts make it super easy and particularly to make sure that we are um, controlling any possible spread of infection. Our school is an allergy aware school. So that means we ask that you do not send nuts or nut products. I'm sure you understand how dangerous they are for our children with allergies. We have had parents who have um, with children who have specific dietary requirements and that may not always be catered for by other parents bringing in a treat. So if for example you would prefer your child didn't partake in the treats that are shared but still partake in the situation, you are most welcome to bring um, a treat for your child on that day to share and just let the teacher know that that's your intent. We have had parents in the past bake a big batch of gluten-free cupcakes, for example, and keep those in the freezer here at school. So that on the day everybody's celebrating someone's birthday, that particular child is able to enjoy a cupcake that also caters for their dietary requirements. Again, just pop all that information through Seesaw so that teachers can be aware of it in the event that we are going to be celebrating a birthday. Your children will be getting started on their learning. They already have, which is incredible. The six key learning areas that make up the primary school curriculum are English, mathematics, history and geography, creative arts, which includes music, art, drama and dance, personal development, health and physical education. Sounds like a lot, but know that your children's teachers are incredible practitioners and will be making sure that this curriculum is delivered and differentiated at exactly the level your child needs. You may have seen in my videos last year a quick explanation about Walker Learning and if you haven't jump back through our YouTube channel and find that video for a really detailed explanation. Walker Learning has been established at Wilkins Public School since 2018 and the results that we're seeing from our children are just phenomenal. We believe in this program and we believe that it is the absolute best thing to cater for our children's learning needs. We know that play is such a natural way of children exploring their environment and learning about themselves and their world. We know that by using play-based learning, our educators can introduce and reinforce content concepts from that curriculum mentioned in the last slide. But the best part about it is we absolutely love it and so we're excited and we love getting on the floor with your children and building with construction or getting messy with kinetic sand or tinkering with hammers and nails. We know that these gorgeous little children and their four and five year old brains are ready for this particular type of curriculum delivery. As I've said a few times, the Central for Education app is the way that we communicate with you. Whole school and grade communications will come to you this way. And like I said earlier, it's where you can sign permission notes, make payments, and your child's academic report will be published to you through the Central app at the end of terms two and four. So go ahead and find the Central for Education app if you haven't already, and the office will then send you your child's unique code to sign up to their profile. And as I've said a few times, teachers will then use Seesaw for individual class things. It's a place where they can broadcast messages, um, things like early starts for an excursion, I've found a few hats in the classroom. Please encourage your child to come and check if it's theirs. We'll also be snapping photos through the classrooms. So it's a great way to have a look at what's happening and maybe start a conversation with them about it when you get home. So please go ahead and download the Seesaw Family app 
and then you can sign, to your, sign up to your child's specific journal with the QR code that will come home. In the event that you do need to speak with your child's teacher, please send an email through the school account to arrange this and just pop attention and the, child, the teacher's name. Don't forget we will be meeting soon to discuss their best start results and our learning plans for your children. So please don't feel that you need to jump in now and start setting up those meetings. They are coming really soon. The rest of this video will be presented by your child's class teacher, like I said, with the information that's specific to their classroom. We are so excited to have your children here at Wilkins and to welcome you to our Wilkins family. I know we've got lots of siblings, so it's great to have our well-established families as well as our brand new families joining us on this incredible learning journey in kindergarten. Hello parents, uh, my name is Peter Rockfalusi. I have a bachelor's degree in primary education with a NESA accredited specialization in science and technology. I joined the Wilkins family in 2020, working with a year one class, and I'm very much looking forward to an exciting year in kindergarten in 2021. In my classroom, I aim to instill a love of learning in all of my students so that they are engaged in the classroom. And this year, I'm looking forward to capturing teachable moments wherever they may come about in or outside the classroom. I'm passionate of getting students of all ages involved and excited about science and technology through which they can develop collaborative skills as they construct their own understanding of the content. A big part of my own personal philosophy of teaching is in creating a stimulating educational environment where all children can have the chance to grow emotionally, socially, physically and mentally. I believe in the classroom it is my job as the teacher to instill a lifelong love of learning in my students. In doing that, I believe that every student is unique and has their own individual learning needs and those children deserve to have those needs met on a daily basis. A week in KR involves many fantastic activities that are provided by Wilkins. Um, what you need to know is that we are doing sport with Sport and Schools Australia on a Tuesday afternoon, as well as doing great sport with the other kindergarten classes on a Friday morning. For both of those uh, sport times, they will need to be wearing appropriate shoes where they can run around and um, appropriate uniforms as well. On a Thursday is our big um, day. We have music in the morning, but we also have a library. On library day, students will need to bring their library bags. And once borrowing starts, borrowed books will need to be returned on a Thursday as well.